Senko, AP Physics Experiment Number 15, Temperature of a Bunsen Burner Flame. Students use calorimetry to determine the temperature of a Bunsen burner flame. Students will adjust the flame so that it burns with maximum efficiency. They design and perform an experiment to determine the temperature of the flame using the principles of calorimetry. They analyze the experimental data and redesign the experiment to obtain more valid results. The kit includes two one-inch steel nuts, matches, 10-gauge copper wire, a hooded lighter, crucible tongs, six insulated cups, iron wire, a digital thermometer. Required but not included are a Bunsen burner and support stands. In this activity, students will be investigating the temperature of a Bunsen burner by using a calorimeter to measure how much heat is lost due to a steel nut that was heated up in the flame. Now, whenever you do an activity like this, always remember you got to use safety first. Remember when you're doing this experiment, always have your goggles on. Okay, so we're going to light the flame. Have our cup of water nearby. And what you would do is hold this in the flame for about well, one or two minutes. That way it's going to get up to the exact temperature as the flame itself. And then when you're done, quickly put it into the water. And have a thermometer measuring the temperature that the, hot, the water comes to. Once the nut has cooled down and you can remove it, have the students determine what the initial temperature of the steel nut was, and therefore the temperature of the flame. You should have them repeat the experiment with the different nuts, but this time pay close attention to the amount of water that's lost due to steam when you place the hot nut into the water. That way they can account for any inaccuracies in their measurements.